Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today, we're going to have Junior Mint working on, on this little Challenger. Did you guys even know that uh, Agco did a, a, a compact tractor series with the little Challengers? I, you know, I, I really take a lot of pride in it and knowing all the tractor companies and what they're what they look like and who made them and all that stuff but this one slipped past me i'd never realized that uh, agco had uh, had a series of compact challenger tractors um so it's a little mt225 um it's about a 23 horsepower uh, little two-cylinder diesel front wheel assist uh, it's got a, uh, it's got three-point PTO it's got re uh, four remotes on the four four hydraulics lines on the back for you um, this is you know set up you could put a small loader on the thing um, we picked this thing up on a, on an online auction that that site that we found that I was telling you all about how much we we've been in you know we've been doing really good on it so but uh this was listed under the uh under scrap uh it hadn't been run in a while and me and joe talked about it and i said let's take a chance uh he's been doing most of the bidding and stuff on there for me because i what happens is they get they end at odd times during the day so one tractor might end in the morning the next one may end in the evening and i get busy and i forget about them and joe joe joe's been doing pretty good about keeping up when they end and i actually try to take care of a couple and i missed them they ended on me before way before or way well when i went and checked it was about three hours after they ended so and then they went for just a tiny bit more than our last bid and i wanted to go quite a bit more on them so but anyways um so like i was telling you they had it listed as scrap iron and they said you know doesn't run know nothing about it recommend for parts we all right guys so but anyways like i said so like i was saying they um they called this thing junk they said they didn't run they didn't know anything about it it's just been sitting for years and me and joe we put a brand new battery in the front and <laughs> it drives but there are some repairs that need to be made so come around this way so guys it has a high low but what you see I don't know if you guys can see in the camera there or not there's nothing hooked to the high low lever um, this little piece here that kind of goes there and again I'm trying to keep my big hands and arms out of the way so you guys can see and I can't but it should be up there also everything in here is just stiff as can be um, the three-point lever uh, takes all you got to to move it and then there's a little deal right here and it should snap back up that lets the three-point arm down and it doesn't do it because just because it's so stiff and sore and tired and been sitting forever so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have junior mint pull the seat he's probably gonna have to pull this fender and this stuff off to get the end of this off because there's a snap ring and stuff and there's just not enough room i'm gonna have him re-weld that and fix it and then i'm just gonna have him everything in the back here it's just gonna be uh, oiled and greased and lubricated in every possible way and try to get um try to get everything moving again if you guys back up a little bit you know it's got turf tires on it and they are really nice they it's got front wheel assists those tires aren't bad on it the seat needs to be replaced and i think i have a seat in the building that can go on it you know the pto's never been used the original caps on it um the three-point arms are there and like i was telling you you got multiple hoses for uh whatever you guys are wanting to do with it but so the end of the goal today is to get junior mint to get this cleaned up and get it put on the lot so i'm going to get him over here get him started and we'll kind of check back with him here in a minute once he makes some ground and we'll see what we got really going on here guys so i'm gonna get junior mint going and let's get started so guys, Junior Mint got the fender off and he's been lubricating stuff up in there, but he's got the broken piece off. Let me show you what we got here. So it came from right here. That's for the lever for the high-low and the linkage is broke. So you can see what happened here is that piece 
is supposed to be hooked to this piece and uh, it it snapped so I'm gonna send him in and have him re-weld that and get that fixed and see if we can't get that put back on here so I'm gonna go put Junior Mint to work let's see what he can do guys all right guys, so Junior Mint got that re-welded and I think he did a really fine job. Um, that's actually probably better than it was when it was new. Uh, we did have a little grease fire inside there while he was welding, but that's no big deal. He's gonna clean that out and stuff and we'll get that put back on where it needs to go and um, we'll see how well that works. And then a little bit more lubrication and stuff and he gets to put it all back together. And um, We'll see if we got the little challenger ready to hit the law today. Maybe, maybe not. All right, kiddo, finish it up. Well guys, Junior Man's done, and look who I found wandering around the shop. It's the car wizard. Car wizard, everybody. And hoses. Does it go to this? No, it doesn't go to that. I hope not. I, I just probably to your uh, to your uh, yacht. Oh, that's right. I was doing some yacht. Yeah, work. you're doing some yacht work. Yacht work, for heaven's sakes. Yacht work. Yacht work. <laughs> this thing's almost ready to go, yeah, isn't it? Well, actually, Junior Mint finished it up, and I'm pretty proud of him. Yeah, he it, does it, good work. He does really good work, and it's it's ready to go to the lot. So, awesome. I guess we'll we'll step out of his way, and boy, take it, put it on the lot. All right, have fun. Yeah. Alright guys, well that's that today. One tractor on the lot, many headaches yet to go through to tractors to get other tractors on the lot, but uh, thanks for coming in, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later on this week. Not there!